Hello and welcome, it's Bushwhacker here with another Stationeers tutorial. Today's episode is part three of our programming series, and today I'm going to show you how to make this. Now this is going to be an automatic fuel filling station with a display that changes colors. <laughs> Okay, let's get started. For this system, we're gonna need a source of volatiles and a source of oxygen. These can be tanks, and I've showed you how to fill tanks with these different elements in a different video, and I'll leave a link for that now. So your source of oxygen and volatiles are gonna to have to come into this gas mixer. I have the volatiles coming into input two, and that's gonna be important for our coding. Out of our gas mixer, we have a pipe analyzer and then a tank fill. Also, because we're doing programming, we're gonna have our circuit housing and we're also gonna have an LED display. So we can come over to our computer where I have set up our circuit housing and an IC and I can start programming. So we're gonna click edit. And if you haven't watched my previous videos on programming, I would suggest that now because it covered some of the basics. So some of the things that we saw over there that we're gonna have to hook up to this program are our analyzer. So we're gonna start here and we'll do alias and we'll do analyzer and that will be D0. The other thing that we had was our gas mixer. So we'll put that in here. So alias uh, mixer d1 and finally we have our display so we will put our display as d2 so alias display and that'll be d2 okay uh, for this we're gonna have one register and that's gonna be our pre pressure so this is gonna be a uh, variable that changes. So we'll do alias pressure and we'll put that to register zero. Okay, so now all of our aliases are in and we are going to put some settings on this program. So if you use the hashtag here, uh, you can write comments and it isn't interpreted by the code. So it is a good way to kind of keep track of where you're at. So we'll say settings and we will put in here, we're gonna set our mixer because we want it to mix at the correct ratio. So I know that when you change the setting on the mixer, it changes the setting for input one. I know that we have oxygen hooked up to input one and that we want 33% oxygen. So we'll do 33.33. That'll be a close to perfect mixture because it'll set input two to 66.67%, which is close enough for what we're doing. Next, we wanna set our display and we're gonna change our displays mode to show us a percentage. So we wanna see what percent is our tank full. So in order to display a percentage instead of a whole number, we're gonna change the mode to one. And I will leave a link for where to find the different modes uh, attached to this video. Next, we can start our program. So we'll put another comment in here and we'll go program start. Okay, so now we're starting our program. This program really just is a pressure program. So the first thing that we're gonna grab is our pressure. So we're gonna load and we haven't set, we haven't found the pressure yet. So we will load the pressure. And where are we gonna get, get it from? We're gonna get it from the analyzer and we want the input of pressure. So there we go. Now it's gonna take our pipe analyzer 
it's going to find out what the pressure is in the pipe analyzer and it's going to set it to our register which is pressure. Okay, now that we've got our pressure, we have to figure out what we want our program to do. So I know that we want our program to display our pressure as a percentage. And we can also use that percentage to see how full the tank is and if we need to turn the mixer on or off. So we're gonna turn our mixer on until it fills the tanks to 100%. But we need to know how full we wanna set them. So when you uh, load up in the game, it automatically fills your uh, fuel tank in your welding torch to 5,000 kilopascals, or, five, or about five megapascals. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna divide, and we're gonna set it to pressure. So it's going to overwrite the pressure setting that we got earlier. So this is going to give us our pressure in terms of exactly the number of what our pressure is. So how many kilopascals. So we're going to actually set our pressure to something new. So it's going to overwrite our old pressure value. In order to do that, we're going to take whatever pressure we currently have, which is being read by that analyzer. And we know that we want to fill it to 5,000. So we'll set it to 5,000. So this is gonna take our loaded pressure and it's gonna divide it by 5,000. So if it is full, so let's just say this is 5,000 divided by 5,000, that's gonna set our new pressure to one. And that's where we want it to fill to. So we wanna fill it to one. So now we can display what our pressure is. And because we're displaying it in a percent, if this is 5,000 and this is 5,000, that our pressure is going to be one. So that means it's because our display mode is set to one, one is going to show up as 100%. So all we need to do is set our display to setting and we're just going to set it to the setting pressure which is gonna grab this pressure because that is our new pressure. So like I said, if it's 100%, it'll be one. Now that we've set our display, we can do the next bit of code here. So we're gonna do something new. This is called a branch. So we're gonna pull up our functions here. And this is exactly what we want. We want the BLT, so branch less than. So we know our number is gonna be one if it's full. So we know that if it's less than full, we need to turn our mixer on. And we're also going to set it so our display is a certain color to indicate that our tank isn't full. So what we're going to do is branch less than. And let's look at what we can put in here. We can put it on registers. We can put in numbers. Uh, so let's look at what it says here. So branch to line C if A is less than B. So if A, and for A, we're gonna use our pressure. So pressure, if pressure here is less than one, so less than 100%, then we want to go to line C. So what we can type in here is branch to, uh, or if pressure is less than one, branch to line, and we're just going to say, let's just say like 16 for now. We may need to change this later. So this is going to branch down to this line. But we'll come back later and fix that up if it isn't where it needs to be. So it'll branch to line 16 if the pressure is less than 1. So the, let's put in a comment here. So this is tank. And you can't really see that. Let me see if I can scroll up here. So tank is not full. So we can put in a comment there. So if the this branch here will only branch line 16 if the pressure is less than 1. So if it's less than 100% full. What does it do if that isn't true? It just continues on like this wasn't here at all. So that means that we can put a comment here and this will be tank 
is full. Okay, so now what do we want to do if our tank is full? So we want to first we're going to set our mixer so we want to turn our gas mixer off if the tank is full so the way to do that is you use on and if you say zero that means it'll turn it off if you set mixer on to one that'll turn the mixer on also we're going to set our display to and we can use another uh, variable here and I don't know if it'd be a variable or I guess it's more of a setting uh, we're going to set our display color and what color do we want if our tank is full well we are going to change our color to green so I know uh, using a chart found on the Stationers Wiki, which I will link in this video, I'll say set display color two. Okay, so now we've turned our mixer on, or we've turned our mixer off because we set it to zero. We changed our display color to green because it's full. All we need to do now is give our code just a little bit of break before it jumps back up to the top, so we'll yield. And then we will jump to line wherever our code starts. And the program starts at line eight. So we'll jump to eight. So you can see here that I ended up having to use an extra line. So this is gonna jump to line 16. Well, we don't want it to jump to line 16. We actually want it to jump to line 17. So now let's say the pressure is less than 100%. Then it's gonna jump down to line 17 which means the tank is not full. So in this case, we're gonna use the same stuff we used up here. So we're gonna set our mixer on, but this time because the tank isn't full, we want our mixer actually to turn on. So we'll put it as one. And then we're gonna set our display to color. And if the tank isn't full, let's have it change to color red. So that's gonna be four. And then we will yield again. And here we can jump to line eight again. So I told you guys before that we are going to, that our code runs from the top to the bottom. So let's just make sure that this is running like it's supposed to. So we're going to, uh, set all of our aliases for our uh, devices. We're gonna set a register for our pressure. We're gonna set our mixer to setting 33.33, which doesn't need to change. Also, we're gonna set our display to mode one, which is gonna show us a percentage. So that doesn't need to change. So our program starts really at line eight here. So then we're gonna load our pressure from our analyzer and it's going to give us our pressure value we're going to divide our current pressure by 5000 so 5000 is our target what we want to reach so that's to say 5000 over 5000 that equals one so we're going to then set our display to the setting of pressure so it'll set our display to one and again, because we changed our display mode to one, it's gonna read 100%. Now we want to branch. So we're gonna branch if the pressure is less than one or less than 100%. So let's just say our pressure is less than one, then it's gonna go to line 17. So I'll jump down to line 17 here. It'll turn the mixer on, it'll change the color to red, It'll wait a second and then it'll jump up to eight. And that's how our, uh, our system is gonna work. So now what we need to do is we're gonna confirm this. There we go. And now we have our IC here and we're gonna export our program to our IC. 
uh, now that our IC is programmed, we can see that it has data on it. So it has 698 bytes and we can throw it in our IC housing. So we'll grab our screwdriver now. And you can see here that none of our devices are showing up. So what you need to do is turn this on and then we're gonna turn it off again. Because as you're changing these around, you could actually create problems and maybe accidentally lock some of your devices or something of that nature. So we're going to turn it back off. But now it shows us that D0 here is the analyzer. So we will go to pipe analyzer. It shows us D2, D1 is our mixer. So we'll change this to our gas mixer. And then D2 is our display. So we'll change it to our LED display small. Now we can turn this on and it turns green. So that means everything is running well. We'll come over to our display here and we will turn it on if I can reach it. There we go. And you can see the program actually already started up. So it's just gonna fill this line until this gets to 100%. So we can watch it fill on up. And it takes a little bit of time, which is nice because now when we put a tank in there, it'll take less time to actually fill up that tank. There we go, okay. And it filled it a little too full, but that's okay. So we're at 103%. So now we're gonna grab an empty tank and we're gonna throw this empty tank in our filling station. So we'll throw it in there. Our pressure is gonna drop and then our tank is gonna fill. And again, once the tank fills, so filled a little too much, the mixer turns off and it displays in green. So now we can take our gas canister and we can use it for fuel. So actually, let's try that. We'll grab our uh, welding torch here and we'll throw that on the ground. And I'll take this canister out of it and throw that away. And we'll throw the canister inside of here. Now this gas mixer does a really good job, especially if these tanks are different pressures. The problem is if the tanks are significantly different in temperature, your mixture won't be exactly perfect, but it'll be pretty close. So in order to get the best ratio using 33% uh, percent oxygen here and 66% volatiles, they need to be as close to the same temperature as possible. But we'll grab our welding torch now and let's turn it on. Okay, and you can see our welding torch has a very bright blue flame oh, as it tips over there. So that means that our mixture is very good. So it is pretty close to perfect. So I hope you guys liked this tutorial. If you did, please go ahead and leave a like below. If you have any questions or comments, you feel free to leave those below as well. Uh, also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my videos. I definitely appreciate it. So again, thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll see you again next time. Bushwaka out.